Look, we've got a little show and tell here. Lyle Dudley of bushfoodaustralia.com has sent me all these lovely things, all for $20 plus postage. I wanted some Kwandong seeds, so I've got two kilograms of Kwandong seeds. Let's have a look. I've got a whole two kilograms, because I want to plant the trees everywhere. Oh, look at all those. Look at them. Aren't they wonderful? Look at all those. Wonderful Kwandong seeds. And of course, he's given me instructions on how to plant them. And what else? He gave me some Kwandong fruit leather, a sampler, and oh, the Kwandong berries. Oh, there they are. He gave me some dried Kwandong berries. Uh, the fruits themselves, but they're dried. And he also gave me some sandalwood seeds. Sandalwood, this is an Australian sandalwood that is related to Kwandong. So that'll be interesting. Sandalwood has very fragrant wood, doesn't it? You can make beautiful chests out of it. And I look forward to the fruit leather and the Kwandong fruits, but I'm going to especially look forward to planting the uh, Kwandong seeds. Now, our Australia's first people have eaten Kwandong fruits for at least 40,000 years, if not more. And, well, they always enjoyed them, and they are beautiful fruits. Um, uh, there is uh, several ways of uh, treating them uh, to plant them for the best results one of which is to smoke them. I'll give a link in the sidebar to how to smoke uh, Kwandong seeds. Ray of Egypt has got a good uh, YouTube video on how to smoke your Kwandong seeds or any other uh, Fienbos seeds or Australian plants that need smoking. And uh, other things you can do is, uh, before you plant them, you can uh, dip them in a solution of bleach just to, uh, well, to disinfect them, I suppose. It gives them or kills fungus that might uh, spoil them. You can also, uh, apart from smoking them and di dipping them in bleach, you can plant them under compost. Of course, we want to plant them under Australian trees like um, gum trees and acacia trees and say courageong trees, non-toxic trees. If you plant these under a poison tree like a native white cedar tree, for example, which is neurotoxic, the uh, Kwandong fruits will be poison. These fruits could be poison if you plant your Kwandong under a poison tree because uh, like mistletoe, like an underground mistletoe, Kwandongs uh, latch onto the uh, host tree and they suck sap out of it and goodness. So if it sucks some um, neurotoxin out of a poison tree, like a white cedar or an oleander or something, the fruits will be poisonous to mammals. And human beings are mammals, aren't they? Anyway, I'm going to plant lots of these. I'm going to have lots of fun. I'm going to study the best techniques for planting them. Listen to that buzz saw. So to recap, I got all this for of uh, Lyle Dudley of bushfoodaustralia.com.au, all for a bit over twenty dollars, a, a bit around, a little over twenty dollars for uh, two kilograms of Kwandong seeds, and he threw in Kwandong fruit leather and lovely dried Kwandong fruits and some free, um, what are these, sandalwood seeds as well. So that's wonderful. And let's hope that I'll soon have a wonderful forest of Kwandong fruits. Won't it be wonderful? Wonderful indeed. I'm not sure. I think you can eat the seed as a nut too. I'm not sure. I'd have to do my research, won't I? Look how wonderful. Wonderful. Look up there. Now, a Kwandong tree always needs a host tree. So we use, for safety, we use acacia and gum trees and say a Kwandong tree. But look, there's a white cedar tree. Some types of white cedar are native Australian trees. Anyway, white cedars are poison. If I grow a Kwandong under that tree, the uh, Kwandong fruit, the Kwandong tree will latch on its roots onto that tree and it will suck out the sap and that poison neurotoxin that's also found in those berries will make the Kwandong fruits poison. So you don't want to plant your Kwandongs under a poison tree. You really don't. What about three or four of those berries can kill a child? Those um, white cedar berries. Very poison.
Here just for interest are some white cedar berries. They're all neurotoxic and poison. So you really don't want to plant your quandongs beside a neurotoxic a white cedar tree. Research has been done where quandongs were grown beside a white cedar tree and the quandongs were poison. Here's a tree with some nice compost around it where one could plant a, a quandong seed. Look, it fits in the hole and everything. And I could cover it back over with compost. However, this is a white cedar tree. It's neurotoxic. If we plant these here, the uh, quandong tree will grow. The roots will sap, suck uh, poison out of this tree and your quandongs will be poisoned. So it's really not a good idea. We don't plant near white cedar or other poison trees. We don't plant quandong, quandongs anywhere near poison trees. Here's a gum tree. Here's a gum tree with lots of leaf that and compost around it. Let's put one in for fun. The compost will keep it a nice warm temperature. Here's another gum tree. This gum tree is surrounded by beautiful, beautiful soft compost and bark and leaves. Let's make a hole. Way down here where it's warm. Even in winter it's going to be warm. There we are. Just see what happens. All that lovely compost. Look, it's going to be warm all winter. That's another gum tree. Let's go and do an acacia tree now. Of course they benefit from smoking and dipping in bleach and they do need a host plant. This is an acacia salivna Port Jackson willow that grows as a pest in South Africa, doesn't it? Look, here's some beautiful compost, a beautiful leaf litter and bark litter. Let's put a quandong seed in there and cover it up in beautiful warm leaf litter under that compost and see what happens. And the host plant will be the Acacia saligna, the Port Jackson willow. Look at all that beautiful warm blanket. Isn't it wonderful? I'm here in the forest eating quandong, bush tucker. Hello pussy. Can you see him? No you can't. Hello little boy. I've got no idea if that's filming or not. I haven't got the foggiest. I can see a square around my face, whatever that means. Aren't I intelligent? I'm so intelligent I know how to operate my camera. This quandong is delicious, yummy. Mm. I have to write back to Lyle, Dud Lyle Dudley and get him to send me some more. Hello, little boy. Here, yeah, 